everyone, welcome to today's video, which I have to tell you is a little bit of an impromptu video. I had not actually planned out on my content calendar to do this video, but I started thinking that in 2022, I wanted to make a couple of changes and do more videos that maybe are a little bit shorter and focused on just a few products or one product instead of so many all the time. I love doing, you know, top tens and top fives and hauls and makeup tutorials. And I sort of in the last couple of years have strayed away from doing one product videos, meaning dedicated foundation reviews or dedicated eyeshadow palette reviews, just because there seems to be so many on YouTube. And every time a new product is launched, I go to my subscriptions page and it's like, boom, boom, boom. Everyone is putting out the same review of the same product. Well, not the same review, but you know what I mean. Everyone is reviewing that product and it just seems overwhelming and I almost don't wanna watch any of them. So what I've been doing, and of course I would love to have your feedback on this, is taking those new releases and putting them all into one video, the testing hot new makeup. And those seem to do really, really well. But of course, I'm always open to your opinions. Do you like more dedicated reviews? Do you like the way I've been doing it? So I thought today I will just test the waters of more dedicated, shorter videos. I mean, yes, I have been talking for a while, but going forward, I would hope that these videos would be a little bit shorter. So my first dedicated video of 2022 will be covering the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks and lip liners. I did purchase these products with my own money. The day they were launched, I placed a buy online, pick up in store order at Sephora. I got three lip liners and two lipsticks. I thought that was a good place to start. I went with three neutral, nudie brown, nudie pink lip liners, and one, of course, nude lipstick, and one more pinky nude, because, well, those are the shades that I tend to wear the most often. Those are the shades that I gravitate to. So the lip liners retail for $18 each, and the lipsticks retail for $23 each. I was really excited about these lip liners because I, much like Norvina, who is Anastasia's daughter and the creative director behind the brand, she said in one of her Instagram stories, and I completely agreed with her, that she liked an old school wooden lip pencil that you sharpen. In the last couple of years, I have come to like having a brush on the end because I can easily then blend my liner into my lipstick so there's no harsh lines. But I've never been a huge fan of the automatic lip pencils, the retractable pencils, the ones that are sort of on an angle. I would choose an old school wooden lip pencil over those any day, as long as the formula is good. And the formula on these is good. I have tried all of the products already. I've done a couple of combinations, which I will be showing you now. Here are the swatches of the three lip liners I purchased. They do come in 18 different shades. Hazelnut is described as a nude beige brown. Parchment is described as a peachy brown. And Cool Brown is described as a deep taupe brown. And the new matte and satin velvet lipsticks also come in 18 shades. Haze is described as a light peachy nude with a satin finish. And Praline is described as a nude pink with a satin finish. I am hoping to try one of the matte formulas in the future, but I was trying to keep with a budget of around $100, so that will have to be for another time. These lipsticks are described as being full pigment with brilliant color, control, and comfort for velvety soft, intensely rich lips that last. So now let's start with some lip swatches. The first pencil I tried out was Hazelnut because it is the lightest and I was hoping it would be my go-to everyday lip pencil that would also pair really nicely with a lot of the lipsticks I already own. So here I am applying Hazelnut. It glides on so smoothly. It does not tug on the lips whatsoever. And the formula is so creamy and smooth, I can definitely fill in my entire lip with this pencil in just a minute or two. So this is Hazelnut Alone. 
If your skin tone is like mine and you only want to try one of these new lip liners, I would go for Hazelnut. So now I'm going to apply the shade Haze over Hazelnut. This lipstick glides on beautifully. Once again, there is no tugging. It's opaque in one swipe. And this combo, I feel, creates the perfect, true bare nude for someone with fair to light skin. I don't think I would wear this combo with no other makeup on, but I think if you are doing a complete makeup look and you're just really drawn to complete it with a nude lip, or maybe you're doing a really intense smoky eye, this combo is perfection. Now I'm going in with parchment. This is again described as a peachy nude. And while I agree with that, I do feel like it also has a little bit of a rosiness to it. So it's not like it's pulling orange, at least not to my eyes. I'm going to pair this with the shade Praline. This might be my favorite new pink combo. Now I also want to show you what this combo looks like with a little bit of haze in the center. I find that putting a really light lipstick in the center of your lips really makes them look a lot fuller, a lot more pouty. So you can either take your finger and go like this and pat it onto the center of your lip or you can just sort of tap. Do you see how it just sort of gave my lips a little bit of a more full appearance? Okay, I really don't want to take this combo off because I'm loving it so much, but I do have one more lip pencil to show you. So Cool Brown is the darkest of the lip liners I purchased. Once in a while, I do like to have a little bit more of a 90s vibe going on and have a little bit more contrast between my lipstick and my lip pencil. Now I am using more so the side of the pencil than the tip in order to make it a little bit less intense. And I'm just blending the lip pencil into my lips with my finger. And honestly, I think this pencil on its own looks really, really pretty. When worn like this, I actually don't think it's too dark for me. As much as I don't wanna ruin this lip liner on its own because I really like the way it looks, I am going to put a little haze on the center of this and see what it looks like. Oh, that's praline. Yes, 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 yes. Look at this combo. Just the lip liner in cool brown and a little bit of haze in the center. Oh my goodness, I am just so excited about these new lip products. The shades, the formula, the price point. Kudos to Anastasia and Norvina for really listening to customer and makeup artist feedback and developing such a beautiful range of lip products. Now, as far as wear time, I wish I could give you, or I wish I could say that these are the most long wearing lipsticks I've ever tried. Yes, they are decently long wearing. As far as my ability to actually try them for a long period of time, goes. And I say that because I live in Las Vegas. We do still have a mask mandate in effect. So the times that I have worn this lipstick out to dinner, I felt like I couldn't really give it a good assessment as far as wear because I did have to put a mask on over it. And of course it did come off a little bit on the mask. But during dinner, I feel like at the end of dinner and drinks, I still had a good amount on. Especially, I think if you just wear the lip liner, you are going to have even longer wear. Lip liners for years and years have always just been what I would recommend people to wear if they want to get longer life out of their lip products or just wear the lip liner on its own. So I do hope you all enjoyed this little mini review and try on of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks and lip liners. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. And as I said at the very beginning of the video, please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this where I just dedicate it to one new release versus throwing them all into one video, or I could do a little bit of both. And I promise you I will do my best to keep the chatter at the very beginning of the video to a minimum. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in the Risa Does Makeup family. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. I hope to see you all again very soon.